That's right, guys. The official 2022-2023, actually just 2022, they'll go 2023, Major League Baseball preseason predictions. The games have already started, but the picks were in before the game started, so That's right. don't count it against them, guys. No going back on this one, all right? We're each going to pick AL and NL, you that, Rob? MVP, you Cy Young. Change in no, July. after week one, I'm going to change my MVP pick, Rob Parker. No changes in September, Rob. All right. All I, right. I'm going to need your picks. They're going to be in the system. We're going to judge them in, in October, November, see how good you guys really did. So let's get started. In the American League, the AL Cy Young Award winners. Rob, who are you picking and why? Garrett Cole from the New York Yankees. Garrett Cole last year was in the running until like right at the last week where uh, he got roughed up and kind of got knocked out of it. I think Garrett Cole has something to come back. Remember, he had that poor playoff performance. This will be a big year for Garrett Cole and the New York Yankees. I like Garrett Cole. Are they um, allowing spider tack again? <laughs> Because if not, I ain't going with Garrett Cole. <laughs> I thought about Cole, Rob, but you I'm not going to be Mr. Obvious like you. Oh, okay. Captain Obvious? Okay. Guess where I'm going. I'll be sure. American League, don't say Otani because he ain't winning no uh, uh, Cy Young. Lucas Giolito. Oh, that's from right. The, from the, the White, White Sox. Sox. Yep. Yes. I am going with him, Rob. I think he's bad. He's ready for. I mean, he's you know he's been strong the last couple of years, but I he think he's ready no for a real bust out year. Yes. So I, I look. I'm expecting big things from the White Sox, and I think he is going to be one of their key leaders. So yes, Lucas Giolito, my pick for the Cy Young. Who's Mister Obvious now? Wow. Captain Obvious. Chris had no idea who that was up until like three hours ago. Moving over to the National <laughs> League. Picking the Cy Youngs again, you, Chris. You lie. You're you getting lie. the first crack at this one. NL Cy Young winner will be who? You know, I'm a, this one, I, I didn't have to dig into the crates for this one. Walker Bueller. I think Walker Bueller ready to bust out. He's the ace now of the staff. Um, I think that Clayton, you know, can help him with his experience and, you know, just tell, talk to him about anything he faces. And uh, I think Walker Bueller is going to have a, a big year. He's my pick for the Cy Young. I got yeah. two New York teams and two New York Cy Young winners. Max Scherzer in his first year with the New York Metropolitans. He's had a little hamstring issue, Chris. He's going to be good to go for the uh, Mets. Uh, so I'm going to go with Max Scherzer. I think he's pitching on Friday for the Mets. And uh, Max will have a bounce back year. He pitched well for the Dodgers last year, if you remember, just not in the postseason. Yeah. So both yeah. Garrett Cole and Max weren't great in the postseason, Chris, but had really good regular seasons. If you remember when he could join the Dodgers, Rob G, he was money. Yeah, until the playoffs. Money. Until the playoffs. Right. Until, the right. until the playoffs. The something. official odd couple. MLB predictions going back to the American League. Now we're picking the big boy awards. The most valuable player. We all know who the heavy favorite is. Rob Parker never picks the favorites. Rob, who are you picking for MVP? He just picked In the two. American League, I'm picking Tim Anderson from the Chicago Ooh, White Sox. An MLB bro. Chris, because you need to know he batted 309 last year. That dude, you remember two years ago with that walk-off in the cornfield? Remember that? Yep. That magic yep. moment? I like him a lot. He's yep. a great player, man. Uh, didn't even really play baseball growing up. He's just an athlete, a natural. He's already won a batting title. I think he, he ramped it up. I like the White Sox. I'm going to go with Tim Anderson. I thought about him, Rob. I told you I like the White Sox. I'm expecting big things. But I didn't go with him. Instead... I went with your guy from a year ago, Vlad Guerrero Jr. I like Came that. Came close last year, second. I think this year he gets it done, goes all the way. Vlad Jr., my pick for MVP. No, no love for the first or second favorites. That would be Otani and Mike Trout. I know. Oh, those right. are the favorites. We're going a little off, off the script. Yep. Here we yep. go. I'd love to see Otani do it again, but, you know. We'll Moving see. over to the National League, MVP. Chris, you get first crack at this one. Who do you got and why? 
I'm going with Ronald Acuna Jr. All right? I mean, he's just a great player. It's and he just got hurt last year and right. missed the World Series for the Braves. Yep. The dude is phenomenal. Um, game is just crazy. So I, I just think he's going to come in. Like you said, Rob, he, he came off, you know, an injury riddled year. Um, I, I think he's going to have a bust, a huge year. Last time he was really healthy, you know, he, he, he did his thing. So, um, I, I think he's going to be great this year. That's my pick. All right. Go ahead, Chris said. I got a man crush on him. Fernando Tatis on, Jr. On. How, how's he going to miss the first, what, two months at least? I don't how's know how long he's going to be. He's a fast healer. I don't know how long he's going to be out. But when he comes back. I know back, you got a man crush on him. But it's going to be man. with a vengeance. He's going to play like 80 games. No, it's going to be more than that. I'm going to go with <laughs> Fernando Tatis. I know. Bryce Harper won it last year. And Juan Soto, who is a f- fabulous player, Chris, uh, you know, for the Nationals, he, he yeah, is. Yeah, I they, thought they about love him, him too. Yeah, he's Almost another guy. Him. But I'm, yeah. I'm going to go off the board. I'm going to go with Tatis Jr. Chris, worried about all the wrong things, man. Who cares if he plays or not? He's going to win MVP. <laughs> In the right. NBA, you can win the MVP See? without playing. You don't have to play. Come on. I think my picks are killing All right. Us. Now this my is the goodness. this is the heavy hitter. This is where <laughs> all, right. all the marbles, go. this is where people get paid. This is where the bragging rights come into play. The World Series predictions, MLB opening day, Rob Parker, who do you got? Who do you got winning? Tell us now. I got the uh, New York Yankees playing the San Diego Padres in the World Series. Of course you do. It was my pick a year ago. Neither team made it. I'm going back to this well. I like both of them. The Padres have a lot of pitching. I love the Yankees lineup. Aaron Hicks is back. I'm going to go with the Yankees over the Padres in six games. (sighs) Well, Rob, I I wouldn't mind. I got to be honest. I I would really like to see your pick come true. I mean, I love Tatis Jr. too. To see him on the big stage would be great. With Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton. I mean, come on. That would be phenomenal. But I'm not going there. I'm going with the Chicago White Sox, led by your guy, Tim Anderson, and the San Francisco Giants. I'd love to see the Dodgers in it. Dave Roberts obviously guaranteed a World Series victory. But I'm thinking White Sox over Giants in a seven-game thriller. That's what I got. 